Abortion advocates have spent the past few days screaming in the street and all over social media over the loss of the national non-existent right to abortion. And now a slew of companies are getting on board promising to pay for their employees to travel out of state for abortions. You know, because they're such champions of women's rights. And the same leftists who normally claim to hate corporate America are too dense to realize they're being used by the same multi-billion dollar machine that they say they oppose. One that hates motherhood and is all too happy to use gullible women to line their own pockets. Here's the real reason companies support abortion. And it has nothing at all to do with choice. Leftists are all kinds of mad that SCOTUS sent abortion laws back to states. About two seconds after the ruling was handed down last week, abortion activists took to the street to rage against the loss of the national right to infanticide. And frankly, it didn't reflect very well. Here's one young lady who actually used her own children as a reason why other women should be allowed to murder theirs. Some activists took to public displays of insanity. Some went with vulgarity. And those aren't even the ones that got naked. You're welcome. Others have taken to vandalizing churches and firebombing pregnancy clinics because nothing quite says pro-choice like attacking those who offer support to women who choose to keep their babies. Then again, of course, leftists are getting violent over abortion. They are violent. That's the point. They have no problem with poisoning and dismembering a child in the womb. Why would they have qualms about spray painting a church or burning down a pregnancy clinic? See, once you've decided it's acceptable to pull a baby apart, there's really no bridge too far. So whether by marching in the streets or screaming into a camera on TikTok, stripping in an intersection or throwing Molotov cocktails through a pro-life center's window, the abortion brigade are losing their minds over this issue. And besides being vile, it's terribly ironic. What's funny not funny is that leftists are so busy bending over backwards to defend their most sacred cow, they don't even realize that they are playing into the same corporate America, greed-fueled, pro-elitism social structure that they claim to oppose. The same liberals who rant and rave against white privilege and the rich think that a child being born poor or ill or disabled is a justifiable reason to kill them who are fine with disproportionate numbers of minority children being exterminated for convenience, who think low-income or undereducated or single women can't step up and be good moms. And the same liberals who scream about corporate greed are fine with funding a multi-billion dollar abortion industry and corporations that support it. Abortion clinics rake in about $3 billion a year. By Planned Parenthood's own admission, a medication abortion costs between five and $750. A surgical abortion costs between $600 at six weeks to over $2,000 in the second trimester. That cost might be paid by the woman, her insurance company, or the government, but it is paid. How do you think the charitable Planned Parenthood can afford to pay its executives over half a million a year? I don't know any pregnancy clinics with plush Manhattan offices. Do you? This abortion machine is being fed by the same corporations that leftists say they hate. In recent weeks, dozens of companies have publicly stated that they will pay travel costs for employees who have to travel out of state for abortions. And of course, liberals are praising them for it because they're too dense to realize that these companies, they're not paying for abortions because they believe in women's choice. They're paying for abortions because it's cheaper than supporting moms. A few hundred dollar gas card for Susan to hop one state over and terminate her pregnancy is a lot cheaper than paying for her maternity leave or her medical care or insurance for her kids. It's better than having to give her sick days when her kids have the flu or letting her leave work early to pick them up from school or accepting when she wants to cut back to part time. Simply put, motherhood is not convenient for most of corporate America, which is primarily concerned with productivity. So companies pay to help kill the child instead and they convince women that this is empowerment. Do you get this? Abortion is a cash cow. It enables abortionists to get rich. It allows companies to use women at the expense of their own children. It entrenches left-wing career politicians who then live off of taxpayers for decades. And misguided liberals who've bought into this lie scream in the streets in support of their own abuse and exploitation, never realizing that they are supporting the same money-hungry machine they think they oppose. It is the worst kind of irony. And they don't even see it. And that's your Reality Check America. Make sure that you like us on Facebook and Twitter, follow us on YouTube and Rumble, and stay sane out there.